Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and big shout out to Pharrell for sending these sneakers my way. Today we are going to be discussing the NMD S1 Mobs and this is in the blue corn and oatmeal colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us here for the first time, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button. We've got some amazing membership perks on there as well as some amazing merch pieces. Today, we're talking about a special sneaker that we'll be releasing tomorrow on the confirmed app so definitely set your alarms for tomorrow you're not going to want to miss out on these i was uh fortunate enough to actually find this box in my mail room and i uh, was super excited to open it up and so surprised when i saw these but we'll go through the overview i'll tell you how much i love them Got a note in here that says, Marissa, you're in the mob. Introducing a new footwear silhouette by Adidas and Pharrell Williams Human Race. The NMD S1 Mobs and Oatmeal Blue Corn. Your Adidas Originals fam. Really cool note. I love this little postcard that they put on. It's really cool. Nice little artwork on the back there. Uh, but again, thank you so much to... Pharrell and my Adidas family. Always appreciate you. Today we'll go through the overview on these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I styled them. Then we will conclude with where you can find these and how much they will be retailing for. So let's jump right into it. Named after a group of humans, Mob, uh, seems pretty fitting for the sneaker as uh, Pharrell's logo is human race. So I do love how they've coined it that term. One of my favorite parts about this is its construction, primarily this oatmeal tone that you see on the upper portion of the sneaker. It's basically giving it this nice, just rugged feel, which I really love. And it's a canvas material. So definitely when you feel it, it's very canvas like. I could definitely uh, see this actually stretching out over time. And I do love when I had these on foot that they were quite flexible. Sometimes I feel pretty restricted depending on the material on the upper. And I felt like this canvas is very malleable. So definitely loving the fact that there is gonna be some room for this upper to really stretch out and feel extremely comfortable over time. So this is basically designed to cradle your foot. You can really kind of see the structure of this is a little bit different from some of the other M NMDs that we've shown on the channel, uh, but we've got really cool asymmetrical detailing going on here. So we've got the human race on the lateral side, which works its way to the upper of the sneaker as well. We've also got just nice muted tones on the front here. Again, that oatmeal tone is a little bit lighter on the tongue and the, uh, laces that we went with are ropes, which are probably one of my favorite laces actually to pair with on sneakers. We've got really just cool blue corn tipped coloring on the top here, and it is in a matte finish. So I do love that it's very subtly accented. Uh, and I do love that it gives it this monochromatic look with that clean oatmeal tone for the lace set as well. All right, so let's take a look at those details and then we will finish the rest of the paneling of the sneaker.
All right, so working around to the side paneling, you'll notice that we have really cool color blocking going on here. So we've got the oatmeal finish on the canvas material up front. And then as we work our way to the back, we still have that cool canvas finish. It is a little bit more on the rough side as you get to the heel in that blue corn color scheme. And again, wrapping around, we've got the same uh, oatmeal tone and a lighter finish on the inside of the collar here. And the interior is in the oatmeal colorway for the insole. And then we've got hits of that just nice pop of blue for the human race and Adidas logo. As we work our way to the midsole, you'll notice that we've got these really just cool TBU plugs and I feel like it just gives it a nice pop. And I love, again, that color blocking where it's asymmetrical and we've got more of this transparent kind of oatmeal tone up in the front and then we've got that blue corn feel on the back. We've got Adidas, the brand with three stripes, nicely printed on the back here. And as we work our way to the bottom, this is a nice, super rugged look that we've got here. Adidas's trefoils are all out, uh, all spread throughout the bottom of the outsole we've got it split again with blue on the bottom and that just nice kind of oatmeal tone on the front and this really just gives you some nice traction this does as you can kind of see here have a boost in it and uh, it's not the same kind of boost that you're gonna get with ultra boost but good enough boost to where you're going to feel some nice stability and good lateral movements while also getting that same kind of cushioning and bounce that we feel throughout boost typically in that ultra boost silhouette. Uh, so it is nice that they've added that for just a more comfortable feel. All right, so now let's take a look at those last and final details and move along to sizing. So as far as size and fit goes, I would say stick true to size in this one. Again, that material in the canvas portion of the upper is definitely a little bit more flexible. So know that your toes are gonna have a little bit more wiggle room, which is nice. Uh, but I would recommend if you have higher chanero feet like myself to stick true to size on this one. All right, so and now let's jump into styling. The last look I wanted to dress up a little bit. Definitely don't feel like you can only stay casual with this. I decided to wear this really just cool pleated skirt that's in this khaki colorway. And then I decided to wear on top of that this cropped Letterman's jacket and underneath I wore this striped button down top in blue. I love mixing and matching blues and I feel like navy lighter shades of blue really just complement the shades of blue tones that you see throughout the sneaker. obsessed with the canvas material used throughout this silhouette so I definitely had to play off of that colorway. For this look I decided to go with this just nice kind of cream oatmeal colored toned sweater that is in a cropped uh, finish and then I paired it with this kind of beige olive brown tonish cargo pant that's a little on the baggier side. I definitely feel like just neutral tones pair quite nicely with this and it really just makes that royal blue pop. For this look, I definitely wanted to play with textures, so I decided to wear this cropped, again, just a nice neutral kind of cream tone hue that is in this nice fuzzy texture. And then for the pants, I wore these charcoal wide-legged dress pants that had this nice finish on the sides. You can see it's kind of the same oatmeal colorway as the sneaker itself. And I layered it with just a nice basic trench coat in a khaki color.
right, so you let me know down below what was your favorite look out of those three. All right, so now let's talk about how much these are going to cost on the retail market. So these will be going for $230. Again, these will be dropping tomorrow uh, on the confirmed app. So do set your alarms so that you do not miss out on these. All right, so before we go, again, we are doing our trivia for the month. If you have not heard about the trivia game that we are playing, I am basically doing a month to month trivia game where you will have the chance to answer these questions in the comment box and we will be tallying up the most correct answers by the end of the month and I'll be giving away a special prize. If it is a tie, we will be doing a raffle to see who wins out of that group. Uh, so wishing you all good luck. The question for this trivia today is, when was Pharrell most recently spotted in this silhouette? And bonus points if you can tell me who he was spotted with. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Be sure to leave those comments for the trivia answer down below as well. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming up that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks. Thanks again to Pharrell and his team for sending these my way. We will catch you all on the next episode.